What's up YouTube, it's Jake like the Jumper here with another installment of Jump Right To It. Now today, I wanted to just shed some light on the principles of vertical leap training. Now my training is based off of the manipulation of Newton's second law. From my understanding of this law, it's really shed some light on my training and how I approach all of my workouts. Simply stated, Newton's second law for this discussion is force equals mass times acceleration. Now we're going to manipulate those terms and tweak them a little bit to fit our understanding. And once I explain that, it'll hopefully shed some light on my philosophies. We're going to look at the term force and for our discussion, it's going to equal our actual jump result, the force that we're applying into the ground to jump into the air. Now, when we're looking at mass and acceleration, those are going to be the two variables that we can manipulate to increase our force when jumping into the air. Now, when you're looking at mass, we don't look at mass simply as how much you weigh because theoretically you can just lose as much weight as possible and you would jump higher. Mass for this equation is going to be strength to weight ratio, how strong you are relative to how much you weigh. You can lift 1,000 pounds, but if you weigh 1,000 pounds, it's not going to be the same as if you can, let's say, squat 400 pounds and only weigh 150 pounds. The strength to weight ratio is how much weight you can move relative to how much you weigh. Now, acceleration, we're going to look at as type 2 muscle fibers in our bodies. How fast can we move our body. Once again, we can kind of go back to that squat example and let's say you can squat 400 pounds, but if it takes you a minute to get the bar from the ground to a full standing position, that's not going to be the same as if you can do it in half the time or a fourth of the time or even a tenth of that time. So when writing my programs, I look at Strength to weight ratio, how strong am I getting relative to how much I weigh? And if I'm getting too heavy in comparison to how much I'm moving, I will tailor my workouts to alter my weight. And also looking at how fast am I moving weight, how fast am I moving my body, how explosive am I getting? Now I know there are other factors such as core stability that can have an impact on vertical leap training, but when it comes down to it, I believe these two principles are the main two principles that need to be looked at when trying to improve your vertical leap. The manipulation of that strength to weight ratio and the acceleration or the amount of type 2 muscle fibers that you have. There you have it. I hope this video helped and shed some light on ways to improve your vertical leap training. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask me. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at jclarkthejumper. Once again, God bless.